up. So, so we are walking into March. So how did you do key on your journey of being debt free? To be honest, I feel like I've done okay. So let's get into what I did, how I did, and what I can do to do better. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, so this is going to be a journey to debt freedom. <laughs> Why I got stuck in the head, I don't know. But this is going to be an update. This is going to let you know how far I am in my journey. Um, some of the things that I may have, may have been hard for me so far. Um, and all that jazz. So, this month, we're in March. So just to give you a roundabout of how February was for me and what I plan on doing in March, February was a little hard for me. Why? Because I had extra income coming in. You felt like you got your taxes coming in. I ain't say that. What I said was I had extra income coming in. So with that extra income that came in, that allowed me to put money up as well as give money to my children, give some money to my husband and um give money to myself and you probably give money to your husband yeah because that's my husband okay that ain't my boyfriend that ain't my my it's my husband okay so <laughs> no shade no tea but you know people will come for you and say in a minute some slick stuff so i gotta put that out there this is my husband i do what i want with my husband so um I decided to, um, yeah, I decided to have fun, have a little fun with my, with the little extra money that came in. So that's what I did. Um, so February, I won't say it was hard because what I did notice within myself was that, um, my paycheck paychecks were allocated as it, how they should have been allocated. There was no extra spending out of the paychecks and money that was supposed to go where it went, went where it was supposed to go. So, um, what I will say is February wasn't hard for me. I did do a lot of spending, a lot. I bought for my kids. I bought for my husband. I bought for myself. Um, which is what you're going to see in them hauls. Um, and I bought decor for spring and decor for our, for, I mean, spring decor for the living room and me and my hubby's bedroom. Um, so we did do that. But for the most part, I feel like financially it wasn't hard for me. Um, and, uh, and, um, and a lot of things that make it made it easier to where I didn't feel like I wasn't sticking to being on my debt free journey was number one, I, I rationalized within myself why I was buying things and what I needed it for and how much I was going to use it. I also, um, if I didn't have a coupon and it wasn't a really, really good coupon, I wasn't going to buy anything um also i was more focused on watching my savings account grow i wasn't as focused on spending as i was watching my money just grow so that helped as well um what else i feel like i did good for february as far as paying off debt so we're going to get into that as well so first off I, for the month of February, know, I know last month we said that my goal was to have 5000 I think $5,500 by the time March hit. I almost met that goal, but I didn't meet that goal twice, quite, and I'm okay with it. So, so far as of to date, I have approximately dollars in my savings account um and i think that that's that's okay i think that's fine i don't see a problem with it and so far as far as debt for this month i have paid off 
officially okay so last month okay so last month it was twenty one thousand two hundred sixty two dollars so far i've paid six hundred and eighty dollars of debt so now my total is twenty thousand five hundred and eighty two so i think that is really really good um i'm proud of it and when i say debt, that includes credit card bills my car um that includes all of that so i think i knocked a nice little dent into that so um as far as i'm i'm following the dave ramsey challenge but i'm not i'm kind of tweaking it and making it my own when i have already accomplished baby step number one i am on i'm doing good with baby step number two which is paying off all debt <laughs> but i'm not per se using his snowball system <laughs> excuse me i'm using my own system and what works for me so i tweaked his system to work for me and i am really doing good with my three to six months expensive expenses meaning if i was something was to happen and i wasn't able to work for three to six months would i would me and my family be able to survive and the answer is so far yeah but no because in order to meet the three to six months expenses i do need to save at least five thousand four hundred and six more dollars which i think i'm going to be very capable of doing okay with no problem um because i do have a set goal to at least pay myself 20 percent out of each check which means it goes directly into my savings so every month I will be taking $285 first before anything and putting it in my savings, period. It just goes into my savings. Also, I have auto save, which means every time I get a direct deposit or sometimes a deposit, $25 every month goes into my savings account. Um, also, as well as any odd numbers left in my money, in my account at the end of the week, my checking account, because I don't do a lot of cash. And I'm getting ready to do cash envelopes, but I'm waiting for them to come. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys as well. But because I don't have cash envelopes as of right now, anytime I have an odd number in my savings account, let's say the total is $1,087. That $7, it goes to my savings. So that'll leave me with $1,080. So it's always I always try to, at the end of the week, go into my checking account and make sure I have an even number and it's only at the end of the week so as soon as saturday hits because saturday for me is the end of the week although some people may think friday is the end of the week i think saturday is the end of the week so on saturdays i go through my accounts see if it's an odd number if it's an odd number that odd number gets transferred if it's an even number i leave it alone um and then sunday it rolls over again um another thing that's been helping me is um I, like I said, I've been doing my sinking funds. So, so far on my sinking funds, because I just started in February, I have $25 for my Christmas fund, $20 for my back to school fund, and $25 for my car maintenance. Or, I, you know what? Yeah, for my car maintenance. Also, um, I'm doing cash envelopes in March. I'm waiting for them to come. I was hoping that they would be here before by March the 1st, but they don't look like they're going to be here March the 1st, which is fine because I don't, my first piece of income is not going to roll in until March the 13th. So that's okay. But I was really hoping they would be here for the beginning of a March. I did invest in a little miniature planner to carry in my purse. This is my to-do list. This has what bills need to be paid. Um, I keep receipts in here. Um, so, yeah, my to-do list. Um, just scratching, just off the dome type of stuff. And then back here, we have bills. But I'm waiting on some inserts to come as well because they're planner inserts. So, those should be coming real soon. But this has my bills in it. And it's also going to have my cash envelopes in there as well. And it's just going to, for the cash envelopes... I will be having a fun money fund, which we'll get into when I get ready to introduce the cash envelopes. I have a gas fund, a grocery fund, a fund for my kids, personal care, and eating out. So that's uh, that doesn't that's the cash envelopes that we will be using 
like dipping our hands in and then we have our sinking funds and i think that's been helping me a lot with saving money now i don't have an envelope for my sinking funds i just put everything in there with my savings but i also keep track of the money that is going in my account for sinking funds so i know what's directly in that account for sinking funds i did also open an additional account for bills for my bills just for my bills to go strictly out of because i didn't i don't like having my personal money um in with my bill money and you're probably like, but if you're doing cash envelopes why do you need a bank a checking account for your personal funding because i don't carry all my personal funds on me at one time i only carry what i'm supposed to have for that two weeks and once that two weeks is up, whatever I have left over, it stays in that envelope. And so I don't, that money that I have personally in my saving, in my checking account is directly for me if I need to do something extra. But I try not to mess with that money. I just like to know it's there. But I try not to mess with that money because I have the cash envelopes, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I just feel good knowing that I have personal money tucked away, put up. Let's say I break a nail and I done ran out of cash envelope money. I can go into my personal money and pull that 5 or $10 out of there, which I rarely do because my cash envelope stuff has been working because I haven't. Even though I don't have the cash envelopes, I've been working as if I have them. So it's been working for me in a sense that I don't have to mess with my personal money because I really don't have to, I really don't have anything to buy. Like I sat at my computer one day just looking and going through stuff and I couldn't find one thing to buy. And I wasn't mad at that. Normally I get frustrated because I, I have to buy something, whether it's a lip gloss or something. But I haven't been feeling the urge to buy anything and that's been helping me a lot. Any income, like I was saying, that was coming in for April is for my daughter's birthday. So there will be no income to deposit or put up because it's all going to her. Because it's her, she's turning 16. Yeah, hashtag thirsty. Thirsty. So, yeah. Um, I, I feel like I accomplished some things for February. Going in. Now that it's March, I feel positive. I am on a no buy for March, so I will not be buying anything. I do have a habit tracker, so it will be tracking my days. And I'll also be writing them down. I think the only thing I need to buy for the month of March is gas <laughs> for my car. And I'm really not going to be going anywhere for the month of March unless hubby says let's go on a date. Or we do what we normally do. It, which is going breakfast so that, that okay so yeah that is what i'll be doing for march i won't be buying anything per se but every other week so one week i pay for me and hubby to go to breakfast that morning and the next week he pays for us to go to breakfast that morning we do that with each other that's just been our thing i take him out to breakfast he takes me out to breakfast and that's just our thing that is what we do we get up at six o'clock in the morning and go have breakfast with each other so that isn't anything but $25 so um and that's for both of us so that's pretty good but for the most part I will not be going anywhere I know you guys probably say which you can make breakfast at home yes I can and I do on Sunday mornings with my whole family but on Saturday that's me and hubby's time to connect and really just vibe out and talk to each other and just me and him on our breakfast date that's what we do that's what we're going to continue to do I'm not going to stop that so yeah i think i did good um my goal for the next three months is to try to put uh try to at least have a thousand dollars in my savings for in within within the next three months um if i can i want to shoot for two but i'm being realistic because of april um, and then May is my husband's birthday, which he doesn't require a lot, but especially for April, I'm being realistic. And I say about, about a thousand to 1500 is probably what I'll be able to put back in my savings. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I've talked to you guys long enough. I've talked to you guys for like 20 minutes. It's time for me to go. So y'all, if you have any, um, ideals or any suggestions, you can put them in the description box. 
If you have any criticism, you can keep it to yourself. If you have any issues with what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, you can keep that to yourself too. Because I'm not that girl. I throw block parties and I will block you. I don't go back and forth on any social media site with anybody because I just don't want to. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I will see you guys in our mid-month um, mid update of my budgeting. And hopefully by then, um, I'll be able to introduce the cash envelopes to you guys and we can start doing that. Um, I probably won't do another savings update until April, um, but I'll give you a update and we'll start we'll start getting more into cash envelopes and things like that so i'll i'm about to get out of here i will see you guys in the next video bye